Well, good morning, everyone, and I uh, hope you are having a, a blessed Sunday. I'm working on Going Green Mom's uh, question, and it's not a simple answer, so... I think I might just do a separate video on it. I, uh, I'm getting it kind of together and formatted, and maybe I'll tape it today, later on. We'll have to see. If I have time, I will do that. Uh, and let's see. Uh, prayers going out to rain, please. Uh, she's feeling under the weather. Hope she gets to feeling better soon. Okay, but let's get to this reading. Now, this will be a, a quick video this morning. And like I said, I'll, uh, I'll try to finish up that, uh, that part of the, that second video today, if possible. And you might be wondering about that question. When I get to that part of the reading, I will uh, point it out to you all. Okay? All right. You have today the Eight of Blades. The Eight of Blades signals a time of feeling helpless and restricted in your thinking. These limitations come not only from yourself, but from outside sources as well. And it seems that you will never work out which is from where. All this doubt makes you your own worst enemy because you can't trust what is real and what isn't. You may find it helpful to take a step back and write down what you perceive about your situation, then review it later when you feel more confident in your mental process. Now the element for this card is the air. Astrological association is Jupiter and Gemini. This represents the number eight. And now here's where Going Green Mom's question came in. Um, I talk about the tree of life position where this card falls. And like this card in particular falls in uh, Hod the spear of majesty and the mind. And she was wondering what that was all about. That was kind of unfamiliar for her. So that's what I'm going to go into detail about. And there's a lot to talk about, just from the name, the tree of life on a long, long history back and the concept and everything of it. But anyway, I'm sorry, back to that reading. Okay, um, let, let's see. Uh, the key word here is restriction. Look at all the knives in this card. So many that it'd be hard to move around in there without getting cut. And so for that reason, this card shows feeling trapped. Uh, this may be due to a series of bad experiences and poor luck, and you begin to wonder if things can ever improve. Also, there may be a sense of conversations going on behind closed doors that you are not party to, so you feel isolated and even vulnerable. The card commonly arises in readings to show someone who is in a role that doesn't suit them, but they are under pressure to conform, such as working in the family business or taking a course 
because it could lead to a profession, although it isn't what they love doing at all. Many creatives and light workers go through this experience um, not fitting in, and it takes time and confidence to uh, find your path. You can release yourself from these bonds, but it will take determination, and you may need to swallow your pride and ask for others for support and advice. On a social level, the eight of uh, blades can show you feeling humiliated or ignored, and you feel others' attitudes towards you. An additional meaning of the card is illness and incapacity. Again, this does not imply permanent disability, but a phase of physical restrictions. All right, not the greatest card at all. But by now, you all, I'm sure, know that it could have been a much, much worse card. So there you have it. All right. So, look for that other video to be coming out maybe, hopefully tonight, if not tomorrow night. You all say, stay safe, peace, belief, because the spirits are out there. Oh, I just realized I forgot to light my candles. Oh, well. Have a blessed Sunday. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.